Lincoln Electric 125 HD Weld Pack. This has the adjustable knobs on it instead of the HD pack. This has the two switches. I'll leave all the information in the link or in the description below. But anyway, um, this is a little bit more advanced than the Hobart handler. I've been using the Hobart welder for the last year, the Hobart handler, and it does pretty good. But uh, it's more of a beginner welder, I think. This one's a little bit more technical to deal with. Um, I noticed. I've been welding with it here, just messing around with some beads. Uh, it's a little bit, I think you have to be just a little bit, I'm not saying I'm the perfect welder in the world, but um, I'm just still trying to get used to how it beads and how it works. Um, you just have to be a little bit more, I guess, experienced, which I learned in my backyard. I actually got this for my birthday, so thanks to my wife. Wet wife just goes out and buys a welder, you know, a $500 welder for their, you know, their husband, so it's pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and lay some beads down and see how she does. But like I said, I was self-taught and I'm used to using a Hobart handler and uh, these are the welds that I got out. So it laid beads pretty good, small and big, and actually burnt some holes in it on, in, on actually burnt some holes in this pipe on purpose just to see how good I could get it to fill in because I know some welders don't like that. But uh, you're going to get splatter and stuff like this with flux core welding. Um, like I said, it's, a lot of people use gas instead of flux core uh, because it's a gasless welder. But uh, as you can see, I tried to do like different beads and try to just go just all over the place just to see how long I could bead for and how long I could go without you know, any mishaps. As you can see, I welded that piece on there. I got pretty thin right here. Um, now see, I tried to use the same method as I did with the Hobart handler, and you can see how deep it actually dug in to the weld, so it was getting way too hot. So you can't, like it's, it, all welders are different. You have to just try them and get used to them. So that's, that's another thing. So you can't really take the technique from a beginner welder, and this is basically a beginner welder too, but it almost seems like have to be a little bit more skilled to use it because like I said I'm used to using a Hobart handler and it was a great welder it was a great beginner welder and like I said these beads I mean it looks kind of rough because I ain't cleaned them up yet I even went and tried some rusty metal because some welders don't like to even try to weld rusty metal and this actually did really well so I was very impressed I'm very impressed with this welder um, let's go ahead and go over and take a look at the box itself and show you the different things on it. And then we'll go over and look at the gun and the Let's light. go ahead and take a look at the machine. I got it unplugged for safety. All right, now, do you, now you have your speed, your real speed. It goes from 1 all the way up to 10. And you have your heat, which goes A, B, C, and D. Um, this is supposed to weld up to 5 16 metal. Um, you could probably get the weld just a little bit higher. You're not supposed to, but the Hobart that I used, 
I actually wanted the metal just a little bit thicker than it recommended and it's holding just fine. Um, your lead comes off. I'll show you in a minute how it comes off and this plugs in here. You have your power button. Uh, this is the 125 HD weld pack. So it came with a wire and it come with you know your lead and stuff. It didn't come with a helmet. It didn't come with anything else. Just your, your big uh, spool and extra your big spool adapter and your extra ends your extra 35 ends and 35 in or, you know, 35 wire so I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the side here now first off this don't come in here this just comes in the box so you have this is for your bigger rolls your bigger spools I should say and these are your 35 ends they give you extra ends uh, and right off the bat, you can come right up here, and it has a diagram of all kinds of stuff you can look at. Okay, right here's what you want to look at when you weld something. If you're if you're going to weld 20 gauge, you want it on 1.5. That is your real speed, and you want it on A. So you'd come over here, and you'd probably put this on somewhere about right here. Then you want to leave this one A. So that's what that that is. That's just a basic, uh, basic explanation how to use this thing. This is just an easy way to show you how to use it because a lot of videos on YouTube don't show you anything if you're new to welding. I've been welding for quite some time. I'm not no professional. Like I said, I learned in my backyard, and I got used to the Hobart handler. And this is takes a little bit more skill, I think, than Hobart. It's just me. It feels like this is just a hotter welder altogether, so I like that. But uh, you want to look and see what size wire you have, 30 or 35. Right now, I have 35 in there. Basically, pretty much the same. That's why I just went off the 30, because as you see, it's 30, 1.5, 1.5A. But when you get into the bigger stuff, that's when you have to pay attention. Um, see, it goes clear up to 5 sixteenths. And when you get up to here, there's nothing there. Um, I have welded, I haven't welded any higher than a quarter inch today. Um, I just did a little demonstration with um, exhaust pipe just to show you how good it welds. And it actually holds, I mean, you can, you can get online and see other videos of them guys welding tons of stuff together. This is just a review and what I think of this welder. And as you see, it's got your typical leads. Um, when it comes in the box, you have to put this lead on yourself, and it goes to the positive. It's a good design. I like this, and this is what holds your lead on right here. You unscrew this wing nut, and you can pull this whole lead out. And what I like about that, and, uh, the, ho the Hobart, you can't. So this, you can pull out, wrap up, instead of wrapping around here and bending that metal all up inside. So that's what I like about this. Now, we ended up paying four hundred and twenty five dollars for this welder um, it's not a bad welder at all altogether I walked out with five hundred some dollars because I got me a new welding helmet while I was up there because I needed one because my other one was junk and I'll show you the welding helmet here uh, in a second why I like it and why I bought it so let's go ahead and take a look at the gun so this is the tip of the gun um, to be honest with you to be honest with you this kind of feels like a harbor freight trigger uh, kind of got a little slack in it before you do anything it's the plastic kind of feels cheap and the end piece right here um, this is actually some kind of metal or plastic I'm not really sure it kind of feels like metal but then again it feels like some kind of hard plastic so I'm really not sure on that as you can see it don't really have a brass shield like your Hobart or your cheap water from Harbor Freight would have or a Miller just has this and one thing I don't like about this this is the downfall of this welder is when I go to I'm used to using the Hobart like I said and it had the shield around it. I, I would kind of just feel it then come up a little bit this if you get too far down this will stick this is something I'm not used to um, I guess I'll have to get used to it because I'm not used to using a uh, tip like this I've never to be honest with you I've never seen a tip like this uh, not a whole lot of people use this kind. I guess it's just a little bit cheaper maybe. That's why they do it. Like I said, I'm not a welding professional. I weld in my backyard. I weld on my Jeeps to get the job done. I mean, it's not all hop cobbled up, but, you know, it's 
it does pretty good. Now your uh, ground clamp, something the Hobart, well my Hobart don't have, it does not have a hole in the handle. So the Hobart clamp, and it, it's kind of crappy. The Hobart clamp ain't as, I mean this has a lot of, <laughs> a lot of tension on it. The other one, the Hobart one is just kind of loose. And this has a better grounding surface anyway because the Hobart has two round things instead of one clamp and one, I call them half moons. Um, this one has set up like this, which it holds it better on pipe and stuff is what I like about it. And you have to put this one out of the box too. That's pretty simple. You just take the nut off and put that on and tighten the nut up. I'm really impressed with this welder. Um, and I'm o I've always been a, uh, I've always been a Lincoln electric fan anyway. Check out the Cherokee Ronnie sticker. I've always been a fan of Lincoln and their products. Like I said, I love the welder. It's just going to take some time to get used to because, like I said, it's a little bit hotter than the Hobart. Um, for a beginner, I do recommend the recommend this welder. Just go ahead and skip the Hobart altogether. Um, I think this is cheaper than the Hobart. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. But uh, I think this would be great for around the garage, uh, just repairs on your vehicles. Um, that's mostly what I'm going to be using it for. That's what I use the Hobart for a lot. But like I said, I am a Lincoln fan, so I'm glad my wife got it for me. And it was a steal, really. And uh, I was going. What I really wanted, because it was a little cheaper, just to do body panels and stuff with, was the HD pack. It just had the two buttons for one and one, and two and two for the heat. And she came through and actually got a better one. So, you know, I'm really, I'm really, uh, really impressed with her. And thanks for my wife for sponsoring me. And she got me a helmet too. Uh, she knew I wanted that helmet, so she went ahead and got that for me because I've been looking at helmets anyway. Because I was using, at the, well, mine was dead, and I was using a freaking uh, one that didn't auto darken. So that's a pain in the hind end. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. The Lincoln 125 HD Weld Pack. Um, make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. Got some Jeeps build coming next week, so make sure you stay tuned. Check out treadright.com. The link will be in the description below. They have affordable off-road tires. It's the best tires in the market right now, and the price is the best right now. And go check out all my social medias because all, uh, all these videos you see, you can see pictures or little sneak peeks of the videos uh, two or three days, maybe sometimes even a week early if you go check them out. So my Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook will all be in the description below. I'm Cherokee Ronnie, and stay dirty, my friends.